Hi, we're not on the ranch today. We're at one of our training facilities. And yes, we are on private property and the bushes and trees that we're going to shoot today are slated for removal, so no laws are being broken. But what we're actually talking about today is the discussion that as a bullet passes through bushes or trees, that that bullet can be deflected from its original path. And the conventional wisdom is that a slow, heavy bullet will be deflected less than a light, fast bullet. Is there any truth to that? And if so, how much? Let's see if we can put that to the test. So I've got a VisiShot target and I'm going to shoot this from 15 yards with my Beretta 92FS, which is loaded with Federal 9x19, 115 grain full metal jacket round nose. So I'm 15 yards from the target, but between me and the target is this tree. Now I'm not going to shoot through the trunk, just through the branches. And let's see how we do. Let's take a look at the target. I fired five shots and we have four impacts fairly well centered. The one in the middle is two impacts. One of the impacts is clear down here at the bottom, so some deflection occurred, and all of the projectiles passed through a lot of branches. So, not much deflection, but some. Now I'll put up a new target and we'll do this again with a pistol that shoots a heavier, slower projectile and see how the results compare. Now I'll shoot from 15 yards with my Colt government model, which is loaded with Remington green and white box, 45 ACP, 230 grain full metal jacket round nose. Let's take a look at the target. This time I fired seven shots and you see that they're over to the left a little bit. That isn't because of deflection, that's because I wasn't able to see the target as clearly as I'd hoped. But we see very little evidence of deflection and no evidence of tumbling. With the nine millimeter, the bullet hole showed no evidence of tumbling. With the 45, still no evidence of tumbling. Let's put up a new target and try another firearm. Now I'll shoot from 15 yards with my A1 platform, which is loaded with Remington green and white box, 223 Remington, 55 grain full metal jacket, spear point. And side note, yes, I'm very well aware it's spelled S-P-I-R-E, but I've always heard it pronounced spear point, and that's the way I'm going to say it, tomato, tomato. But let's see how much, if any, deflection we get. Let's take a look at the target. Well, I fired five shots and here's the impact, so they're not off target very much, but let's take a real close-up look at these. You can see that this round is starting to tumble just a little bit, and this one is completely sideways, so we most certainly are getting some tumbling. Where I was shooting, there wasn't as much brush in my way as I'd really hoped there would be, so I'm going to put up a new target and shoot from 15 yards with the AR platform again. Now I'll shoot a few more shots, shooting through an area of denser foliage. Now let's take a look at the target. So I fired five shots and we have a pretty good group at the top of the target. That's not because they were deflected, that's because through the brush I couldn't see the target very clearly. But let's take a close up look at these impacts. You see a couple of them, maybe a little evidence of tumbling, one completely sideways, and one looks like it's fragmenting. But there's only four impacts. One of these impacts is clear at the bottom of the target. So clearly some deflection is occurring. So now I'll put up a new target, and we'll try this again with a rifle that shoots a heavier, slower projectile. So now I'll shoot from 15 yards with my Wasser 1063, which is loaded with Wolf 762x39, 123 grain full metal jacket spear point. Now let's take a look at the target. This time I fired seven shots and you can see six impacts. Now this lower one might look like that's tumbling. No, on closer examination we could clearly see that's two impacts. 
So with Wasser 1063, what we see is zero evidence of tumbling, zero evidence of deflection, even though I was shooting through what I considered to be the thickest foliage on the tree. Now let's try one more rifle. The conventional wisdom is that a slower, heavier bullet will have less deflection. So now we'll shoot from 15 yards with my Palmetto Arms carbine caliber 4570, which is loaded with Remington Green and Yellow Box 4570 405 grain semi-jacketed soft point, which chronographs out of this rifle at just over 1100 feet per second. So this is a very heavy, very slow projectile. Now let's take a look at the target. I fired six shots and we have a fairly good group, so not much deflection. However, one most certainly was deflected, and some of these are definitely showing signs of tumbling. So the takeaway from all of this, we can see that shooting through brush most certainly can deflect projectiles. And the conventional wisdom that a heavy, slow projectile is going to be deflected less than a light, fast projectile seems to have some validity, but not all that much. Even with the 4570, we saw some deflection and some tumbling. This also comes with a disclaimer that today's demonstration is wrought with extraneous variables. Shooting through different brush with different calibers with different types of projectiles at different distances may give us different results. So as always, don't try this at home, I'm what you call a professional, and thanks for watching the Shooting Through Brush video.